every uh, piece I make, it's it's art, you know. It's art for me, and the people like it, you know. It's not just anything that thrown together. Many um, artists, uh, jewelry artists, they have their own styles that they kind of um, discovered or have become accustomed with. And his style is pretty unique. And that, like, when I see his work, you know, I, I know it's, it's a Jake piece, you know. And he, he's got a style that's pretty distinctive that makes him uh, um, different from the rest, you know. Jacob Livingston Sr. Well, I'm a Kiani, and then uh, my uh, father, he's a, he, he was a Zuni, so I'm half Zuni and half Navajo. Jacob Livingston Sr., also known as Jake, is a renowned silversmith whose work is highly regarded wherever he goes. Well, when I was growing up, oh, when I was six, seven years old, my uh, Dad and my mom, they were doing silver work, you know. So I went in there, you know, <clears throat> I looked at them, and, and that's how I got it, you know. He served as a Navajo police officer, where he met his future business partner and wife, Irene. Soon after, Jake convinced Irene to quit her job and help him with silversmithing full-time. I really, after I didn't have that job, and I started doing my silver work, you know, you can just make anything and then take it to Gallup and then you you can sell it, you know. So that interests me real good, you know. Jake attended classes at Diné College in Salem, Arizona. Under the trained and watchful eye of silversmith Kenneth Begay, it wasn't long before others noticed Jake's talent and hard work. Just like I said years back before, there was a man named Gibson Nancy. He's the one that really... Uh, it's smart to go, go, let's go this way. Your work is too good, you know, selling around here. Let's go on the road. And then it's, that's, that's the way my wife is, you know. He was making those reversible brown, the pendants, and he was making real, we were making real good money, you know. We used to work all day and part of the night. On my stamp, it has her name, J.I. Livingston. Eyes her, Irene, my Jake, you know. But She's the boss, and uh... as a son of a Zuni father and a Navajo mother, Jake was destined to create a unique style of silver work. Jake's work exhibits both. You know, he's got the um, like I don't know if you've seen some of his rings where he does that. Um, he kind of paints uh, little birds, like hummingbirds or um, blue jays, in with different color stones. That's kind of that's very uh, unique to Zuni work. And then he does like cluster work with stones that are more Navajo, you know. So there's, there's, I, I see uh, an influence in, in his work on, of both Zuni and Navajo. If you only have uh, art in Navajo, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of artists, Navajo artists, and then there's a lot of Zuni artists, only Zuni art, you know. But mine's a combination, you know. The unique new style Jake started to call his own was just one of the reasons he won Artist of the Year in 1988. A lot of their pieces are unique, one of a kind, and they take a long time to make. <laughs> that's, that's the work, you know, you can do whatever you want. If you have the art in your head, you know, you can do it. I'll say he accomplished a lot of good stuff in life. So now we're at this age, so you try to um, pass it on to our kids if they want to carry on. I'm sure they can do it. I guess you're gifted. That's, uh, maybe that's why, you know, maybe I'm gifted, you know. If I uh, think about it, then I can make it, you know. You have a positive thinking to the Lord what you're going to make. Yeah, you know, is is that me that I make it just just like this bowl right here, you know?
who who el who else to make that like not not, not there just me i guess <laughs> so that's it